close. It's really, also, it's also important that my patients recognize that you can't achieve this in my office with, no. <laughs> with filler. And I've had lipo, guys. So. so this is someone who naturally has a physique. Yes. And fillers don't come close to this. So, so you're a, if you want to achieve this look and you're a, a flatter person, you have to have surgery done. Yes. I would actually send you out for a surgical consultation. You're not a candidate for my office. Now, instead, her concern is, Dr. Bell, I have some dents or I have some areas that I need, I want to lift. Yes. We can lift. We've lifted before. I want to lift this. And, and she wants to smooth and I want tone. the cellulite, the cottage cheese gone. Yep. And we all get it over time. So how would this work for me? Absolutely. So this you is would easy because she doesn't need that much. So we can actually place the fillers in these areas where she has small dents. And what I do is I actually draw where I need to place it. So I use a little marker, an indelible marker, and I place my marks in areas that I think should be smoothed out. I do also have patients that sometimes need some tightening in other areas. So you can, if you shrink these areas like hips and thighs, guess what that does? Makes your rear look more projected. Bit, yes. yes. It, it, it increases that girth that, in that area, which is a very nice look. She has perfect hips. A lot of people request hips these days. She doesn't need any, but we also do fill to the hip area if they look a little square. Um, and filler is awesome because our placement now is higher, so we get a lift. We also do place it specifically in areas where you have small little dents and remove them. And there are a lot of products out there also that do specifically treat cellulite now. Um, so sometimes a person is a candidate for that, but for the most part, we like filling it versus um, toning and flattening. Um, there are lasers also that can tone. You really? Prob yeah. I yeah. need that. You have that? <laughs> yes. Ooh, yes. really? Yes, except you really aren't a candidate for that because those lasers have, are, you, they provide radio frequency and heat. And sometimes it dissolves. So you don't want to use too much of that. But in some cases, but. when you have extreme creasing, then it works out very nicely and looks very good and helps the person to look smoother. She's not really a candidate for that. She just likes trying everything. But I do. You do. I just want this cottage cheese gone, period. Yeah, I do. So how many um, syringes would I need to get rid of the cellulite? So, and so this is a fairly easy case, probably about five to six syringes per side. And if she wants to include um, hips, another two to three. I'm good on the hips. I just want this cottage cheese gone. But thank you. So Very easy. And how very long? Very easy to treat. About how long would it last? And her filler would give her, we would, la her result would last a good one to two years. But in her specific case, I would definitely add some plasma and some other services. What is plasma, for those that, that is, don't know? So we do actually take some blood, and this is also used during the BBL process, except they add fat to it. Instead of adding the fat to it, we actually um, only, we don't do the surgical component. We do the non-surgical component. So our nurses take the blood from your arm that day, and we centrifuge it. We only use the proteins, the healthy, thick part that becomes, when we put it in the actual syringe, it becomes gelatinous. So it looks a little thick like mm. the filler, and it actually looks yellow in color. And um, we inject it along yes. with filler. And guess what? Liquid it makes your filler last longer. It makes the area healthier. It makes, if you have discoloration and bruising, it helps to heal that. It has so many benefits that you can't go wrong. So I love adding it to procedures. Um, Isn't she amazing? I like she's also, so smart I get excited and hot. About Isn't this she stuff? like the total woman? <laughs> yes. Um, but I also love adding threads. So for instance, if she has a severe dent somewhere and she's like, that didn't work. We get that all the time. Okay, well I got something for you. So we have these threads and I, the thread is left in the skin, under the skin, you can't detect it and see it. And over time it falls, forms collagenated tissue when it dissolves. And so it stretches the area. So if you have a dent, imagine this. It stretches the area and tones it, and then it also repairs that area, and your, your body naturally replaces it with tissue. So it tightens it, and it also thickens it. So that. over time, we can heal it 
for a longer period of time. So now you get another three to four years out of it. Yes, I'm here for all awesome? that. Yes. So oh, I love <laughs> That's her. That's one like, of my favorites. I just want to be like this the rest I of my know. life. Like I want to be in my coffin, like threads, like threads. this. When I'm 95, like threads. she looks snatched. Bitch. I mean, you can get a facelift, <laughs> but if you if you look, I would prefer to look more natural. I think that people do are a little excessive with the facelifts. Yes. When you're talking two and three of them, it's a little too much. And that's everybody a lot of knows money. you that's, had two yeah. and three of them. Hello. Yeah. So Do speaking of, and between. honey, you don't need anything. Like-